make America's scariest home videos. Thanks, Robert. You know, in the head-spinning world of modern special effects... <laughs> we Hollywood special effects experts have got to work our fingers to the bone to come up with some really eye-crossing effects. But with just a little ingenuity and a few simple tricks, you too can dazzle an audience with your very own horror home video. There are lots of ways to really stretch the limits of your imagination. <laughs> Thanks to cutting edge, modern technology. But even as pros know we can no longer rely on cheap gimmicks to fool today's sophisticated movie goers. Oh. Thanks, Lanaf. So, if you don't want to lose your head, you'll have to do what we do. Just cross your fingers. Your effects turn out with a bang. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> you ever wanted to just blow someone away? At home video, of course. Well, I'm about to show you a way you can do it without anyone going to jail. It's easy. Here you go, Linnea. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Okay. So to make a bullet hole, it's a real killer. All you need is a button, some fishing line, and a little wax. Just tie a very thin fishing line to a small button. Now, fishing line is a good material to use because it's transparent. usually won't read on videotape. And if you do catch a glare, you can spray it black and it should take care of it. Next, paint a portion of the victim's forehead a bloody red color. There are a lot of different types of paint you can use. One of the easiest would be to pick up some acrylic paint at an art supply store. And you need to make sure that the area that you paint ends up being about the size of your button. Next, attach the button. Usually it'll just stick onto the paint, like that. After that, blend the button off with mortician's wax. You can get mortician's wax at a theatrical makeup supply house or your favorite funeral home. You also need to use cold cream to lubricate your fingers uh, because the mortician's wax is really sticky. It makes a big mess if you don't keep your fingers oiled up with it. Uh, another thing that might help, you could use a dental spatula or even a popsicle stick might work to help blend the edges off. And you need to use as little wax as possible over the button so you create as small a, a bump on the forehead as you can. The last thing to do is press a little powder over the wound. That takes off the shine and helps blend the wax into the uh, forehead. Also, while you're doing the makeup, you really need to be careful about this fishing line because if you knock into it accidentally, it's going to yank it out, ruin your makeup, and lose a lot of time. And just let her rip. Just, uh, just let her rip. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> 